Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. Last weekend, I had nowhere to be and I decided to get order, which is my award of the year, back into my life. We did a big humongous clean out where we have four bags to donate, good three bags of trash within um, our home space and boy, do I feel good. On this week's video, I am going to go in my stash upcycle some more items with the color prairie gray which is one of my favorite neutrals to add to these fun spring colors i know a lot of you felt really encouraged last week when i encourage you guys to talk to yourself just say i am crushing this and i am excited that you guys are implementing that into your own self-talk i've been working it's a little bit of work at first to get your brain to change but i've been working this week at my self um, talk and my motivation and I am excited to say I'm crushing this I am adding order back to my life and let's get started on this week's projects the first project in today's video is a project that I started a while back this picture was thrifted and had some type of design on it and back when all the youtubers were doing the baking soda technique with white paint that is what i did to this to cover up the design but i don't like white baking soda technique it's just not my style i don't think it looks right so what i'm going to do is add the color prairie gray which is one of my go-to neutrals listen i know it's about to be spring but i am not a traditional spring color kind of girl I like a muted purple and a muted pink. And do you know what looks really good with that? Prairie gray, especially with some dark wax on it. So I am gonna do two coats of prairie gray. I am gonna use, I didn't video this part, but I did use a clear wax over the top of it to seal it. Also, it allows me to control how much dark wax um, seeps in and um, it doesn't just look muddy if that makes sense so I clear waxed it now I'm going through with the dark wax just rubbing it on wiping it off if you wanted to add some texture to your piece you could just add a tablespoon or two of baking soda to your paint and just do it on here Next, I'm going to add some floral that I found at Hobby Lobby this season. Make sure you grab them on a week that they are 50% off. But I was really happy with this combination right here. $7.99 each, but you can get them for half of that if you go on the right week. And look at these beauties. I'll, find, I'll use those in the next project. So I'm going to attach this with hot glue. The hot glue didn't hold like I wanted it to because of the weight of what I was putting in here. So I am going to hot glue and then do E6000, let it dry overnight, and then put the flowers back in. This next picture, I purchased this way from the thrift store. It was somebody's project that they were clearly not happy with. I love the shape of this, but you can see where they doubled up on the spray paint and just ended up thrifting it or bringing it to the thrift store. So I grabbed it and it has been waiting for me to tackle. So I am going to do two coats of prairie gray one coat of 
clear wax and then I want this one to look a little grungier because it did have some of those um, spray paint mistakes I wanted to go really heavy on the dark wax and even brought out the dark and decrepit dust which I hadn't used before I just put clear wax down and then brushed on the dust in those areas to make it look extra grungy where there would be some age if this was a really old piece. So after the dark and decrepit dust, I did go pretty heavy on the dark wax and did not rub a bunch of it off. And I'm pretty happy with the results of this one. And then you'll see I put those beautiful florals that I got from Hobby Lobby in here. And then I will include another preview with the other color of a vase and bowl that I didn't do anything to but I just wanted to show you how beautiful these florals are in case you wanted to get some of your own. You know when you're thrifting and you put something in your car and you're like, do I even want to tackle this? Well, that's how I felt about this particular basket. But the same day I had it in my cart, at least three or four different people were like, ooh, that's a cool basket. So it confirmed that I needed to do something to it. So I went, I, I knew it'd be easier to spray paint this. So I was looking for black and I was just going to do one coat of black and do the prairie gray on top of it because I wanted to stick with prairie gray for this video. Well, look at what I found in my stash. I don't even know what I used this, this color for, but look at the color. I mean, it is the same tone as prairie gray. So I spray painted the whole thing with the spray paint and then I wanted to try to make it more multi-dimensional. So I added water and then prairie gray on top of it which hindsight i probably didn't need to do at all i was making this way more complicated i just didn't want it to look like a one-dimensional color so you can see here there's the spray paint and the dried clay-based prairie gray paint so i'm going over it with diy's big top to seal the um diy paint on there and it does have you know, a multi-dimensional look. I probably could have gone away, gotten away with not doing that part, but I just kept going. And then I did add some dark wax. Hindsight, I would have just spray painted it, added the dark wax. That totally would have worked. But I just added this extra step here in case you do want to add a color or something. And it really is a fun look. This next piece was half off. It was originally $8 and I got it for $4. And I think I'm gonna to try to use it in my space. I wanted something that was nice and tall to be in the back of a vignette, but this, this burnt yellow color is not really my year round color. So I did two coats of prairie gray and for this one, instead of doing a clear wax, I went ahead, you can see there's the dried color and then there's the wet color. 
but I went ahead and went over it with big top. So there's a little bit more of a sheen on this one. Um, it did have some natural distressing. I didn't do any wet distressing, um, but some of the yellow did kind of come back through and I'm okay with it. And then I'm going over it with um, the dark wax again. Again, this one's a little different because it has the big top. So there's a more of a sheen to it but I'm excited to try to use this in my home decor as for some height in my vignettes. So I'm pretty sure I have tried Prairie Gray with white wax before, but this last project right here, this was a freebie. I don't even know where I got it, but I am going to spray paint it with that same color I used on the basket and then go over it with white wax so I can see how well I like this combination. Um, I think it was a good use of this little stuccoed area in the center. Again, this is not my, I don't, I didn't pick this out. I don't even know where I got it. I know I didn't pay anything for it, but isn't it amazing how even just a little bit of spray paint can change the look of something? I haven't met many things that a little paint job can't fix. What do you think of this per gray look with the white wax? Let me know in the comments below. think of this week's projects I know prairie gray is kind of a neutral color which I happen to love neutral but it really does make some of those um, subtle spring colors that I love so much stand out let me know in the comments below what your favorite spring colors are also my husband alerted me to some news that's happening this week have you guys heard of Marie Kondo and the joy of tidying up and that whole craze that I think was on Netflix maybe five years ago. Well, I kind of felt vindicated this week because listen, I enjoyed her series. I still apply how she neatly folds things in drawers to all of the drawers that I'm in charge of in this house when it, with regards to clothing. However, she just came out this week and said, 
guys, I have three kids now and I realize that it is not realistic to expect this kind of order when you have three small kids. And oh my gosh, did I feel vindicated because I love order. I love, mm, I love tidy spaces and I really enjoyed her series, but I was like, there's no way that this is gonna stick in my everyday life. And that's because I had three small children much smaller than they are now at the time. So I'm feeling kind of vindicated that, you know what, tidy spaces, completely tidy spaces is great when you're in that season of your life. But I'm applying grace and just saying, let's apply order where I can and add order, not perfection. And that is something that I hope that you guys apply to your space as well and to your life as well. Guys, if you are new here, thank you so much for being here. Please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell to all so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite project was or what you are crushing this week. And guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.